Hey, good afternoon again. It's John. Uh, I just played grid number 23, going back and playing some old grids. Uh, that went spectacularly poorly. Um, for one thing, I mean, you were never going to get a low rarity score on that one because one of the categories was Padres MVP, and there's only one, Ken Caminiti. Um, so I got that right, um, but then I was not able to come up with any Padres rookies of the year, um, of which there were, you know, a couple, um, exactly two. Butch Metzger, who I was going to not get, I think it has come up before, so I should have known that. But the one that uh, got north of 80% was Benito Santiago, uh, who won the 1987 uh, National League Rookie of the Year. And then there weren't that many options for the Phillies either. I think there were like four options. So I just figured, hey, instead of going for a, a still high rarity score and maybe struggling to come up with Benito Santiago, which I really should have gotten, but regardless um I, I just call it at the time round um i'll go for this one grid number 24 which i guess is in honor of ken griffey jr and i think pirates era barry bonds oh and willie mays i think those are all 24s um is cano 24 i think he might have been anyway let's get into uh let's get into it so i'm going to share the screen which i think will bring up my failure here. Yeah, like I said, it was going to be too rare. I, I blew it on this one, too. I went with Vicente Padilla, who's my, like, one percenter uh, that I can remember. Uh, I should have just gone with Schilling, who Vicente Padilla was traded for. Anyway, scrolling back, we're going to play grid number 24, and I'm going to hit play. So away we go. Um, Let's see. Nelly Fox works here. That might be really rare. Oh, well. Um, let's go up on Pence. Grab Carlos Lee here. It's pretty low. Um, Luis Aparicio. How about Robin Roberts? And Nolan Ryan. That's going to be a high one. All right. Uh, let's see. Then did Robin... I think Robin Ventura had to have won a gold glove. Yep. Uh, and then over here, Mike Schmidt, who I haven't played yet. And Yvonne Rodriguez. All right. 52 seconds or so. Ready of 129. Looks like I got the most obvious one. One, two. Not here, because I played Schmidt here. Like Rollins is a forty percent or at Gold Glove. Mark Burley up at thirty two percent. Good for him. He's a good fielder. I remember him being a very good fielder. Jose Abreu number one here. That's no surprise. Who did I use? Like Nelly Fox. <laughs> Probably uh, could have held Nelly Fox close to the vest. Roy Oswalt, who moved teams right around the same time as Hunter Pence, or maybe like a year before he did. So no, this is an interesting one. So Nolan Ryan is the highest at sixty-one percent here, and the highest at forty percent here. But those numbers add up to a hundred and one percent. Um, which is that even possible? That's interesting. I guess maybe it's like sixty point five and thirty-nine point five, but it's basically saying I think that. Everybody, because these percentages are not based on everyone who got it right. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. This is a suit. This is 61% of correct answers. So, um, yeah, that's that's totally possible. I don't know what I was thinking there. So, 61% of 72% of respondents, or about 40 some percent overall, pick Nolan Ryan for this one. And then 40% of 79%, uh, which is about 32% overall, picked him here. So somewhere in the neighborhood of 72 or 73% of people who played this grid. Remember, this was pre-rarity uh, score. But uh, around 73% of people picked Nolan Ryan for one of these things. Um, yeah. All right. Fascinating stuff. I'm going to stop sharing and we'll go for a low rarity score because 129 is not low. And also because that's just kind of the name of the, the game here. Um, let's see. 
Give me just a second to uh, go find it. There it is. I guess this was the daily grid today, 269. So we'll scroll back to grid number 22. Or excuse me, 24. Yeah. I didn't bother with 23. And away we go. Um, let's see. Naplazoye did play for the Phillies before going to the Philadelphia A's. And then going to the Cle what became the Cleveland Naps after him. I think that's a decent start. Um, over here, Gold Glove for the White Sox. Mike Squires is a pretty good one for that. So we're at point six so far. Um, Ken Caminiti works here. I know he was on the 0-1 Rangers team. I remember because that offense was stacked and it just got an A-Rod and, uh, you know, it was just a – Galarraga was on that team. I, I remember thinking that how stacked it was, not really realizing that, well, Galarraga's over the hill, Caminiti's over the hill. Um, So let's see how popular Caminiti's time in Texas was. So he's a one percenter. All right. Hall of Famers for the Rangers. Um, I'm not thinking of any senators off the top of my head, 60s senators. Um, if you look at uh, 19, 1970s, you get Fergie Jenkins. Uh, Willie Davis has a surprisingly high career war. It's in the 60s. Um, he's not, uh, not in the Hall of Fame. Um. <clears throat> And then actually Ted Williams was the first manager of the Rangers. Uh, but that would not work here. Um Pudge Rodriguez, Nolan Ryan, uh Gossage. Um that would work. Um Sosa and Palmero are not in the Hall of Fame. Kinsenko's not in the Hall of Fame. Kevin Brown's not in the Hall of Fame. All these guys not in the Hall of Fame for pretty much the same reason. Um, man, who else? Like so far, Gossage is the most rare person I've come up with. I think this will still be five or six percent. Really, only one percent. Okay, and then. See, I think Gary Pettis usually scores pretty low, 1% or so. It's less than one there. That's good. Um, let's see, Philadelphia and Houston. Joe Morgan will work. Um, Bobby Abreu works. I don't think that'll be super rare. Maybe go over here. White Sox Hall of Famers. So Frank Thomas um hits from, you know, recently. And then uh, Tom Seaver works. Um Gossage would work again if I hadn't already used him. Um Luis Aparicio. Luke Appling, Al, Al Simmons, Nellie Fox, all work. Um, Jim Jim Catch has got inducted in the Hall of Fame, so he would work. Eddie Collins from the nineteen teens would work. He was on that nineteen nineteen team, but was not kicked out of baseball. Um. Ron Santo played a season with the White Sox, if I'm remembering correctly. That might be the sneakiest of all the names I've listed so far. Let's go with it. Let's see how he does. Way less than 1%. Good job. And then... So we've established Rollins is, is, is very high. Schmidt, very high. 
Ryan Howard was never winning a gold glove. Not in this lifetime. Bob Boone certainly won gold gloves. Gary Maddox certainly won gold gloves. Um, Manny Trio. Yeah, Manny Trio will work. I think that might be my, my uh, ticket here. Gets 1%. So I've got three guys at 1%. Three more guys totaling about 1%. So I'm at like two and change, 2.6 or so. Um, how, about, how do we feel about Erstad up here? He's less than 1%. And we just need a Philly Astro. We mentioned Joe Morgan will work. He played one season with the Phillies in 1983. It was a pennant season. So that might hinder the rarity a little bit. Um, a Brave started with the Astros. Kenny Lofton started with the Astros and played a season in Philadelphia. Um, that that seems like it'll be a pretty good one. Let me try Kenny Lofton here. I think the secret's kind of out on him, but sub one. So I get uh... well, that can't be right. One, two, three, four, five ish. There there has to be some rounding going on here because these three guys would total one. These three guys would total uh, about another one. That would be two. These guys would take you up to 3.2, and then this would take you up to four. But it's saying my rarity score is seven, which. I guess implies that these three guys are actually all right around 1.4%. That would take you to four and you get to like to five to six rounded, maybe up to seven. I'm probably no more than like six and a half though. It's interesting. Yeah. That's, that's the range of guy of, of what you can get. Cause I thought I was more in the three to four range, but uh, oh, well, still a pretty good score. I'll take a seven. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing here. And thanks again for playing. Played three games today. Um, one successful one, I think. Um, and I uh, love putting this on for everyone. Uh, if you like what you hear, uh, feel free to buy my book. It's uh, in the description below. All right. Have a good uh, rest of your holiday season. Peace.